Hello everybody, AstecGD here, and today I'm going to be showing you something that I made in Minecraft. Now, I was on YouTube a few days ago, and I was checking out Squirt Dude's channel. You should check him out after this video. It's, he makes very cool stuff. He had a, uh, what it was? He had a um, way that it would make, that, that made you have throwable bombs in Minecraft. Now, his idea was very, very good. Personally, it was an excellent idea. Except his used entities to, uh, his used entities needed entity to be in it. So the potion would knock a villager, it would hit a tripwire, and then it would blow up. Thus making it so it, uh, bomb could only be used on specific surfaces. In this case, I made one that actually what it will do is you can use it anywhere and it uses it's the most simple thing ever uses one command block in a clock now my command block clock isn't working so I use one of those old-fashioned ones now this command if you didn't see it down in the corner before it's slash execute so it will execute these commands it will uh, search for the entity XP orb so it will search for XP orbs on the ground if you didn't know they're spawned in once you um, throw a bottle of uh, enchanting on the ground uh, what it will do then is summon prime TNT with a fuse of zero to the location of that ore so this is more on less than the grenade side but throwable bombs because as you know grenades when they hit the ground they just blow up in a certain amount of time this when it hits the ground it will blow up now look at this so sorry to mention now, but it only works in 1.8. So ready, ready. This is epic. Kaboom! It is amazing, and it's a great way. Um, uh, mappers can use it so they can dig out like caverns and stuff in the ground. But what it basically does, you can see, <laughs> I've been trying it out a lot. That's how much I love it. Except the only bad thing is that. Oh damn! I just need two at the same time. Well, uh, the only bad thing is that it that uh, they don't. If you didn't know this, uh, bottles of enchanting don't go that far when you throw them. So you could also do something else, which I'm gonna give you as a challenge to try to figure out how you could make it work with something else. I personally know how and stuff but you could probably if uh you could like say you want it to work with snowball so you would be able to throw a snowball and when the snowball gets to a certain point it will test for the last place the snowball was in and then fire it or something with an arrow or something with an egg something like that now if you didn't see that command again all you basically need though is a clock. This clock is crappy because I had no time to do it. And I was, I, I, my command block clock wouldn't work for some reason. This only works in 1.8. Keep in mind though. But it is amazing. It's amazing effect. And it's great for an adventure map. But you could have it. So if like you want them to be able to use experience, bottles of experience to be able to do that. Uh, so they step on a pressure plate in a map or something, and then it would turn off the clock, and then you could restart the clock with a redstone block pulse, like, uh, starting another clock, like my command block clock that won't work on this, where it sets it a redstone block in that position, and then to air and like that, but that wouldn't work in this way, I don't know why, but you could do it, so like, uh, you can make it so at one point, uh, the player would throw the bottles experiments, it would be ex ugh, bottles of enchanting, and it would be labeled bomb or something like that, they'd be able to throw it. And then in another part of the map, you can make it so they, when they throw it, they just get experience orbs. So what it's basically doing though, this isn't searching for the experience bottle itself. Like, I could throw, say I wanted to throw this up as far as possible, like, it would wait. It, like, as you can see in the, since I have the game rule, uh, every time that this happened, every time I threw one, it says, experience orb, experience orb, object su successfully summoned. 
So it is actually searching for the orb that comes out of this. You could, on the other hand, as I said, which would be your challenge, if you figure it out, post to me, I'll reward you somehow. I don't know how yet, but uh, in the future, probably. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, you could probably do it with snowballs, arrows, and other stuff. And I know there are people who have actually made videos like that showing that. Like, I know another person who did a video and his used snowballs and arrows. He made exploding arrows, which I thought was amazing. And then there was another guy who made um, sticky bombs, which I thought was amazing also. So, yeah. So, please like, uh, subscribe. I'll put the uh, um, command in the comments below, but yeah, have a great day everybody.